let's talk about today's essay so the essay which we are going to discuss today is nowadays more and more people decide to have children later in their life do advantages of this outweigh disadvantages so the topic is more and more people they decide to have their children later in their life so if i talk about what used to be the case in past years as soon as people get married so they were only having this thing in their mind uh, in in fact the family members also they were always expecting for from them to have children as soon as possible but in these days the very first thing people they are getting married also in a little later years of their life like instead of getting married in early 20s they prefer to get married in early 30s and at the same time even after getting married they don't plan their children immediately they want to take some time for themselves for their family like two years three years four years five years they want to take and after that they plan to have babies okay so this is the tendency this is a kind of you know concept which is prevailing in the contemporary societies so this is something which is happening so you are not going to discuss like agree or disagree over here this is what you need to accept that yes this is happening but we need to discuss what are the advantages of this situation and the disadvantages and at the same time are the advantages more than disadvantage fine so this is what the topic is now clear to you now we'll talk about the advantages when families when couples they plan to have children later in their life so what are the benefits that they people get so the first is they'll get an opportunity to focus more on their career progression so these days when we know that people they really focus more they extremely focus more on their career career has taken the first priority in their life they want to earn money for themselves first for themselves and in fact for their families okay and that too again it has really become challenging it has become challenging to establish themselves in a successful company or to develop a company to develop a business whatever so they just want to achieve higher designation and get a sense of job security so because of competition there is no job security even if they are working they are not sure what might happen tomorrow okay so they want to have that financial like level first okay so once we have a kind of job wherein we have a lot of money we can really you know survive we can provide all the necessities to our family then only they just want to plan for having babies okay so they want to have more focus on career and promotion right the second is that if they don't have children immediately after marriage so what happened they can devote time on their own interest passion and self grooming so what happens once you get married once you have children so definitely having children is the one of the biggest responsibilities you will be having on your shoulder children they are innocent they require a lot of time and attention from you okay so once you have children means now your life is somewhere you know dedicated towards children you have to be there for each and every need of your child so if you have child especially mothers they won't be having time for themselves right so obviously they are not selfish so they don't want to leave their child and they just want to you know look for themselves so they devote time if they don't have children immediately after marriage they delay the process of getting like getting children so they can devote time on their interest their passion their self grooming which undoubtedly after children become next to impossible so next to impossible means it is extremely difficult for them to spend time on their own interest on their own passions let's say if i talk about my friend right so she has always been interested towards painting however after marriage she obviously you know that she had a baby and she used to spend a lot of time with the baby and forgot everything about painting why because she didn't get time for that and this is a routine happening we see all around us the same situation every day third is if they are planning children later in their life they avail they have an opportunity to understand each other nicely so what happens if you are getting married so you need to get time to understand each other so otherwise what happen if they have children so they'll focus mother and father both of their focus is dedicated towards 
children only right so they won't be having to focus more on their on themselves on each other so if they are delaying the process of getting children they get an opportunity to understand each other nicely they develop strong familial bond so as a family they understand each other nicely then uh, they get uh, they develop a good chemistry good understanding and there are less chances of divorces or less chances of separation the next is uh, delaying the process of children the benefit is achieve financial stability before entering into parenthood so that fulfill all the fundamental all the basic needs of children so now if i talk about what used to be happening in past years people were definitely they were rearing children they were making babies but at the same time they were not over concerned about the future of their child okay so that was just a natural process that used to be happening earlier but in these days if i talk about in the contemporary families where mother and father they both are working they both are highly qualified well educated they are aware about the scenario they want their child to develop as an ideal citizen they want their child so their child would get each and every facility that they might have not got or that the current or the present children are getting okay so they want to send their child in a top school so sending the child to top notch school means again they require to have a lot of money in themselves then only they can send them then for the other you know extra curricular activities might be sports activities there are so many things which are taking place these days so they want to you know accumulate a huge amount of money beforehand and when they have the sufficient amount of money then only they plan for having having babies so that they can fulfill their own dreams nicely that they have for their children and in fact then later on once the child is grown up they can fulfill all the desires all the dreams of their children so they want to achieve that financial stability first then plan to have babies so this is another reason or this is another advantage if they have children later they can have that financial stability and they can fulfill all of their dreams and desires and they won't repent later on of their decision okay so there are four benefits that we have discussed now we are going to discuss some disadvantages so the very first disadvantage is chances of having babies reduces or decline with the passage of age so as soon as you know when we plan okay now i'm not going to have a baby now obviously i might delay this process 5 years 7 years 8 years 10 years so what happened with the passage of age so as female they keep growing with the age the chances of getting them pregnant also reduces okay so later on they might repent that earlier they don't want to have the baby now since they are planning to have the babies they are not capable enough for that the second is sometimes babies they may be less physically healthy due to the health and physiology of women so obviously if they are able to make babies they might not be but if they are able to make babies they might be not that much physiologic like they are not physically strong so if ladies are not that much physically strong that's going to impact on the mental and physical health of babies so there might be many complications that they have to face later on then again it enhances the generation gap between parents and children so there would be you know kind of disputes arises once the children grow up so there would be a gap a huge gap between parents and children so obviously they won't be able to understand each other's ideas each other's uh, insights their viewpoint so these kind of you know so many things create and that too again in the later ages of their life not immediately after that okay so these are the benefits and drawbacks obviously i would say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages so instead of you know making up the babies quite quickly even after the marriage they should first focus on their own life they should enjoy their life they should give time to each other they should uh, achieve that financial stability and something then only they should plan for their babies but yes that process of getting baby should not be delayed that much that later on they won't be having anything in their hand Okay so I hope this topic is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me down there in the comment section if you like the video so like it subscribe the channel and keep learning with me all the best